Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tune Project, or welcome if it's your first time here. Today I'll be showing you how to play the tune Hawks and Eagles on the violin, so stay tuned. If you end up finding this video fun and to learn something from it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to the Tune Project, I do post videos just like this one every week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you never miss out when I post a new video. As always, the timestamps of this video will be listed in the description box below if you'd like to skip around and you can always adjust the speed in your video settings. And for the extended edition of this video where I show you how to play the version of this tune that you heard just a minute ago, head over to Patreon or become a member of the Tune Project right here on YouTube. All you have to do is visit the description box below for the Patreon link or head over to my channel homepage and click join. Now grab your fiddle and let's get into it. So for this tune, we're in the key of D major. It is a reel. We have an A and a B section, and traditionally it is played in cross tuning, but today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do it in just plain old standard tuning so that you don't have to mess around with your pegs or do anything different with your strings. And for this first phrase, we're gonna be starting on the G string. The first note is D. We're gonna be using our fourth finger to find that D note, and it sounds like this. So all of that was on the G string. We had some repetition there with the Ds. So see if you can pick out those notes. Then we hop up to the D string, starting with our first finger E, and this phrase sounds like this. And we walk down to the G string there at the end. And this third phrase of the A section is very, very similar to the first phrase, but there are a couple of small differences. So see if you can pick up on those. So very slight note and rhythm differences there with that phrase. For the next phrase, we hop up to the A string, starting on an open A. And that's all of the A section. So now that we have that section covered, let's go ahead and play it together at a slow tempo and I'll count us in. One, two, ready, go. In this tune, we do have repeats, so we play both sections twice, but for now, let's move on to the B section, and this first phrase starts on the A string. Okay, and then we hop up to the E string for the second phrase here. Okay, and then again, just like we saw in the A section, the third phrase of this B section is very similar to the first phrase, but we do have some differences, so see if you can listen for that. Okay, and then ending on an F sharp there. And now this last phrase of the B section is exactly the same as the last phrase of the A section, so hopefully you recognize these notes. All right, so that was all of the B section. Let's go ahead and play this B section together. I'll count us in. One, two, ready, go. Well,
Well, that was all of Hawks and Eagles. I really hope you enjoyed learning that one with me today and congratulations for making it all the way to the end of this video. As I said earlier, if you're interested in adding some fun things into this tune and learning a slightly more advanced version of the tune that goes beyond just the basic melody that you learned here, then definitely check out the extended version of this tutorial. You can do so either on Patreon by using the link in the description box below or by heading over to my channel homepage and clicking join to become a member of the tune project. Either of those options only require as little as a dollar of your support. And if you're interested in taking a look at the sheet music for this tune, you can find it in my digital sheet music library. The link also is in the description box below, so be sure to check all of those resources out if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing!